here's another brief breakdown of the edgeware with shape bleeding uh, that I set up so the way I do it is I have a basic shape and a curvature map then I uh, add a tile sampler I plug it into the pattern input and I change the tile sampler to pattern input and I just mess around a little bit to get it random this is just for the purpose of illustrating this you can set up whatever pattern you want so I'm just randomizing it a bit you don't have to do this but um, you need something that is spread out that can blend into each other different shapes um, so it's important that you have a curvature map as well or a normal map that you can derive the curvature map from so I'm just previewing this in, in, with an emissive shader just to check same with the curvature map I'm gonna add a edge select node and I just want to mask the tile sampler with the edge select and the, and the mask map input then I have to go to the uh, color section and increase the mask map threshold a bit and so now you'll see that it's masking out it's only showing the areas where uh, the mask is white so I just need to increase the edge width a bit and uh, get rid of the softness and you can set this up however you want and this would be a parameter that you would want to expose in the end all right so now let's do the the blending or bleeding so we add an edge detect mode uh, a node and connect the tile sampler to it invert it and um, then you what you want to do is if you set up an edge width of one you want half of that added to that and the edge roundness so one to 1.5 2 to 3, um, 4 to 6, that sort of stuff. So then, um, so like I said, uh, this one, this one, the second uh, edge, edge detect node, you want to have the exact same edge width as the previous one, but zero edge roundness. And then we add a blend node and we subtract one from the other. And that's basically to get the same silhouette back as the original shape, uh, minus the blending, of course, or the bleeding. So now we just got to invert this one and now you see this shape is a little bit uh, smaller than, than the other shape and that's to match the original uh, tile shape uh, from the tile sampler. So, but the difference is that now you have these shapes bleeding into each other. And um, I'm just going to change this to like a stick so that it's a little bit more obvious. And now if I uh, mess around with the the scale you'll see that stuff starts bleeding into each other as it gets closer to it to each other and then in the edge detect I can just adjust the edge width uh, to make it bleed into each other uh, from a further distance or a larger proximity but remember you have to adjust the other ones as well so this is where you should connect um, the parameters to each other uh, with some basic math and here if I change the, the edge width um, on the edge select nodes I can also control it's an additional control so now let me uh, just create a uh, a normal map node um, and preview this with uh, as a normal map and then as a color map as well just to give you an idea so I'm just gonna add the levels I think um, push the values a bit closer to each other and then uh, add a normal node I'm just gonna invert this and then add a normal node then this is again just to to preview the the end result so I'm resetting the material and adding this as a normal output just to preview and you see here we get the, the chipped elements as normal now and <clears throat> just gonna increase the value a little bit although it doesn't seem to matter that much and I'm just gonna add a, uh, um, a a base color for this as well so it's a little bit more clear so I'm gonna add a color node and then um, an adjustment for that And then we're gonna mask those two into each other using multiply or whatever blending mode you want 
I'm just going to preview this in 3D. And now we just got to plug in the mask. There you go. So this is kind of it's 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 basic edgeware, but it has the added feature of the chunks or shapes blending into each other. And I think this is a really great setup or really great control to give your material, especially if your material is a uh, kind of stylized material. That's it. Hope this was useful for you guys. Bye.